What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about things that I feel are sticking points for a lot of women and things that if you don't get right, it can be very detrimental to your relationship. So please watch this whole video. Understand why I'm calling these three points important um, and what you need to do in order to surpass them, okay? Or blow past them and get the guy to commit. Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I'll love you forever along with the bell notification. And if you want to work with yours truly or get my course, Attraction Academy, that's all down below. So the first thing, obviously, is the first date. And the reason I say that, I know this sounds cliche, but it's the first or second date, but understand why I'm saying this, okay? Is I am a big believer, whether you watch my videos, have had a session with me, or my course, Attraction Academy, whether you purchase that, I am a big believer in context. If I am, if I am remember for anything, it's context. And if you don't know what that is, and again, I talk about it extensively in my course, if you just want to master it like that. It's the layering process of things. Things you guys do, things you guys say. Maybe it's things you don't do or don't say. So, for example, him not responding, him ghosting you, big gaps between you guys talking, um, you know, him not giving you the reply that you like. Those are all uh, those are all examples of nonverbal context. So it's all the things you guys do and you say, and the things you guys don't do and you don't say that creates this vibe of seriousness or the vibe of the relationship, okay? The atmosphere, like think of it like the, the aura, okay? And you obviously want to get off on a very good foot. And I feel like a lot of women, are, at least in the beginning, they don't have this prize mentality. You need to go in there understanding. I don't care if dudes are watching this. Dudes, are, dudes will probably agree with me if they're being honest with themselves. He is trying to win your validation. He is trying to get your approval. It's courtship. Now, that doesn't mean, even though you should go in with the prize mentality, doesn't mean you sit back and relax. Because like I always tell women, you know, especially in the beginning, you're nothing special. I know that sounds harsh, but it's the truth. Just like he isn't. It's an interview process, and that's what you need to understand. It's not about me versus you or me trying to win versus you trying to win or a power dynamic. It's a chemistry thing. It is a, it's, it's all about reciprocity. The example I use about, or I use really well, um, or that goes really well with this is something to do with the masculine and feminine energy in dancing. If you both are in your masculine, it's when you're trying to dance together, it's very stiff. You both are trying to take lead. It's very clunky and things like that. Uh, it's very aggressive. If you're both in your feminine, it's very loose, you know, and no one takes lead and you don't really go anywhere, or at least at the speed that you should. But if one's in their masculine and one's in their feminine, one is not better than the other, but they complement each other, right? Now, when you're dancing, you're, you're, it's, it's moving gracefully. You're, you're swinging, you're complimenting each other, you're, you're, you're working off each other. And that's how a first date should be and a second date and a third date should be at least because a guy knows, ladies, a guy knows early on, trust me, it might take you a while, a guy knows early on what he wants to do with you in terms of the category, friends of benefits, girlfriend material, or, you know, uh, let's just see where it goes. But that's not never good, okay? A guy knows early on. Um, so I think it's very important for a woman to have this prize mentality, but to also go in with a, you know, a, I, not, not a, not a, you want a win-win mentality, not me versus you, not a power dynamic type of thing. I don't want to get, you know, I'm going to play hard to get. Don't play that shit in the beginning. Just be fun. Have good chemistry. Have a good personality. Laugh. Work off each other. Quick wit is your best friend. The sexiest thing on my first dates is when a woman's quick-witted and she can roll off of things I say and go and go along with it, right? And work off it. That's sexy as hell, but a lot of women can't do that. But if you can master the first, second, third date, because again, guys know early on what they want to do with you. If you can master that, you're set. And again, if you need help with that, it's in my course, Attraction Academy. It's, that's pretty much a blueprint on what you need to do. Now, the second thing is... Uh, is sex. It's before and after sex. And the reason I say this again, ladies, it's all about context. So let's say you had a good first date, second date, third date. You did everything you're supposed to do. That's why you're on a third, fourth, fifth, sixth date. And he wants to keep seeing you. 
you got to understand that, let's say you're on date six. The context is building now, okay? The context is building. You're not some basic chick he met on Tinder anymore. You guys are flirty. You're on six dates. You have probably said some cute things. You probably have cuddled. You probably have, uh, you've been blowing up each other's phone. You, whatever it is, this stuff layers. It layers. It's more serious now than it was six dates ago. So you got to understand that sex is just another layer of context. So now he's thinking, okay, she's a cool chick. We've been on six dates. We're blowing up each other's phone. I'm giving her these good mornings, these good nights. And, 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 and again, it's consistent. There's a lot of frequency. And now we're about to have sex. How you act before and, and after is going to make or break the situation. If you're a weirdo after sex or you're awkward or you're blowing up his shit saying, I hope you're not one of those guys, like you're going to turn the dude off. So when it comes to before sex, don't have sex with the guy just because you want to have sex with the guy. I mean, you can, you can do whatever you want with your body, but it's a, women always ask me, when's the right time? It's a trust thing. It is a trust thing. It, it does become a power dynamic at, at that point because while you do like him, let's say he likes you, you are giving a lot of power to this guy by giving this up to him, okay? And you're hoping in your mind at least that, hey, I'm giving this up to you because I trust you. Not only have you earned it, but I trust you that you're not going to do something stupid with it like ghost me, okay? So you got to have that kind of mindset going in. And you should also have built the context up to that point that you're not just some girl, who, you know, looking to, to be hit and quit. Okay, there's some there's substance there and you're doing it because you believe that there is substance there. And hopefully you're building this image in his mind also by the things you do, you say and, and things like that. And then, of course, like I said, after it, um, you're you're not blowing up his shit. You're not saying, why are you why are you acting weird all of a sudden? Why are you pulling away? Like You're not doing that. You're you're, you're cool. You're chill. You're co you're calm. You're collected. OK, don't let. Don't get in your own head and become your own worst enemy because you had sex with the guy and now you're freaking out that that's all he wanted because he's acting a little different. Give it some time and see if it goes back on track. Now, if it doesn't, that's a problem you need to call a dude out. Um, but that kind of leads me to this third and last thing, ladies, which is the ultimatum. I don't give a shit how good it has been up to this point. At six to eight dates or six to eight times seeing the guy, okay? Or sorry, six to eight weeks, or six to eight dates, or seeing the guy, whatever. A date means just seeing him. Uh, you need to give him the ultimatum, okay? Because if you're doing it 10 weeks in, 12 weeks in, like you're three months in right now, and you have not gave him the ultimatum, why do you think he's going to put it up? He's not going to throw it out there. You're not going anywhere. How does he know that? Because you've been talking to the guy for three weeks or three months, okay? You think he's just going to throw that out there? If you're not going anywhere, if there's no sense of urgency, if there's no threat in you leaving him, he's going to try to have his cake and eat it too. That's just human nature. Unless the guy actually truly likes you, wants a relationship, wants to settle down, get married, and move along and move forward and, you know, into that, that family life. Uh, but if that doesn't happen, then you need to call the dude out. Not call the dude out, but it, hey, like I said, you got to give the guy the ultimatum talk. If you don't, anything after I would say at most nine, 10 weeks, it's just being bought time. He's not going to say anything. If you think, oh, I need more time for him to convince or to convince him, not going to happen. He's going to tell you he's taking advantage of you. Okay. Say something, just say something. Okay. Um, with that being said, ladies, again, three most important times. I think these are the times that women let slip through their grasp because they don't either know how to handle it. They don't have my course, Attraction Academy, which will help you tremendously. Trust me on that, especially when it comes to building attraction. Um, and I think women give the guy too much benefit of the doubt or they're scared of the answer so they don't say anything. And then they wonder why they're five, six months in and they're still not in a relationship because you lowered your fucking standards, okay? So that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.